I'm going to show you what it sounds like when an amp has failed filter caps. Now, full disclosure, this amp here doesn't actually have failed filter caps, but it has a loose one that just wiggles around and doesn't really contact anything, so it's basically not in the circuit. So it's going to sound like as if it just had a completely failed filter cap. Now, what filter caps do are they sit in the DC circuit right after the rectifier, and they smooth out the DC signal before it gets to the rest of the amp, so you don't hear the hum from the wall, um, and also so that you don't have crosstalk and uh, between different channels. Um, and they're usually fairly large uh, electrolytic caps, and when they fail, you get something like this. When I turn it on, you're going to hear the hum really quickly. And we pull it over by the speaker, and that's pretty prominent right there. Now the hum that you're going to hear from a failed filter capacitor is different from the hum that you might hear from, say, if there's interference from lights, or noise in the line, or if it's the uh, filaments in a tube amp, the uh, center tap or the artificial center tap to the filament supply. Uh, for this, it's going to be a uh, rectifier hum, which is double the uh, mains frequency in your country. So in most of the Americas, you're going to hear a 120 cycle hum, which sounds like this. And uh, if you're in most of the rest of the world, you'll hear a, a 100 cycle hum, which instead of like a hum, it's more like a hum. <laughs> but um, essentially, you're going to hear this. If it's, a, if it's something else, it'll be a 60 cycle hum, which is this same note, but an octave lower. It sounds quite a bit lower. You can, you can hear the difference pretty clearly. It sounds more like, I don't know, like, like an industrial machine, I would say. Just this, but an octave lower. You can look up a video online. I'm sure it says a uh, 60 cycle hum sound. Um, or 50 cycle hum sound if that's your country. Um, and the reason for that is that the, the signal is going to be rectified, so it doubles the, the frequency because the rectifiers, you have two of them turning on and off. Um, and so this is the sound that you're going to hear from a filter cap. The only exception to that rule is if you have a really old amplifier. Uh, say, for example, like um, I'm thinking we're going back to the, the 40s or something that was converted from a radio, in which case you might have a half wave rectifier. Uh, tube instead of a full wave rectifier like anything since then and in that case you would hear a 60 or 50 cycle hum when you had a failed capacitor but generally speaking anything more recent it's going to sound like that note right there the other thing that can happen with cap failures is you'll also get intermodulation distortion that mixes the notes you're actually playing with the frequency of the wall the either 100 or 120 hertz signal that's coming through and that can cause some really weird things, because intermodulation distortion, essentially you have two different notes that kind of mix together and form uh, another, a third note. And that happens with uh, heavily distorted guitars all the time, but, and that usually actually sounds good, it'll fill out the sound a bit. Um, but when it's something with a totally different frequency that has nothing to do with the chord you're playing, it sounds really dissonant, and it can cause these things that are called ghost notes, which are, yeah, just basically a mix of the notes you're actually playing. And in this amp, it's a power, the uh, the filter cap is in the power section. When you have more failed filter caps, especially in the preamp section, it can tend to get really bad. So this isn't as bad as it could be, but you'll still definitely notice. All right, so now I'm going to play a little bit of guitar through here, and you'll be able to hear that intermodulation frequency. So essentially you're going to hear the hum, you're also going to hear the note I'm playing, but you'll also hear a third note somewhere in there. I'm only playing one note right now. As I move my note up and down, you'll hear that intermodulation note will change too. Now it seems to be, at least in this amp, it seems to be much stronger on the lower notes. It sounds almost like I'm tuning other guitar. It's interesting, if I play a note that's in the same key, it sounds alright, even a chord. But if I play a chord that's in a different key than the, than the hum that's in there, just kind of sounds like a giant mess. So that's the intermodulation distortion you can hear um, from that from the capacitor not filtering out, filtering out that sound, and then they kind of crosstalk and combine with each other. Uh, on the distortion channel, you can hear it more the uh, the hum coming out when I play notes. <laughs> That's the kind of sound you're going to hear when you have a failed filter cap. And just to show that it is, in fact, the filter cap that was causing all the problems over there, if I play around with it, I can find where they touch, and then it doesn't have that problem anymore. The hum goes right away. Also, if I play a chord now, 
it sounds good when it's connected and terrible when it isn't. So if you have that sound, uh, and like I said, it will be a lot worse frequently if it's you have uh, failed filter caps in the preamp section. I had a bass master where the uh, ground completely disconnected from the preamp section, and the uh, those ghost notes that you heard earlier there, they were as loud as the main notes that you were playing. It was really weird and awkward. Everything kind of sounded Halloween. So that's a good way to recognize some failed filter caps in an amp. Hope this is helpful.